Hi, I'm Juan. I'm 21 years old, and I had a brain injury in 2000, July 20th of 2013. I choked on my own vomit. My mom found me up there, right above our heads. He was pretty much blue and was in very, you know, very bad shape. So I just reacted. I just took him down to the to the floor immediately, tried to do some CPR. And in the meantime, my daughter realized what was going on, and so she helped me with that. And she called the 911. And in just a matter of seconds, probably they were here. And when we got there, the people in the hospital was telling us that that he was leaving. That he, they were pretty much telling us that we had to say goodbye there. Sorry, <laughs> took me back to that day. Vegetative state is a condition that's often referred to as wakefulness without awareness. It's a very curious condition uh, in which patients open their eyes, uh, they'll have sleeping and wake cycles. So in a sense they're, they're, they're animate, but they're non-responsive. If you try and stimulate them, to, if you ask them to look in a particular direction or to, uh, to move their hand, they, they won't do any of that. So they're entirely non-responsive, but they are nevertheless awake and animate. I remember just being at the hospital. It felt like I was trapped in my body. I was just convinced that I was going to break through it at some point. So I kept trying, and lo and behold, it did go through. It was a beautiful day and we asked the nurses to let us take him down to the garden and just take him to a little bit of sunlight. And we were there and we were just joking around because Juan Daniel is the whitest boy in the house. We are all kind of tiny, just joking around that he was still our, our snow white. And immediately as soon as we were laughing, Juan Daniel laughed with us. And I captured, we captured that in a video. <laughs> oh, you're such a bad boy. You are laughing at me. You are laughing at me. I love you, my baby. I love you, my baby. Yes, I love you. So that day was just amazing for us. Although he, he, he kind of laughed and then kind of did this kind of very sad kind of, I don't know, it like, it like a he in, in, in his own way realized it, the situation that he was going through. Now this patient is, is completely different. He really has made a, a very profound uh, recovery, uh, a vast improvement. When we saw him originally, he appeared to be in a vegetative state. All of our tests indicated that he was in a vegetative state. Yet, a few months later, that clearly isn't the case. And what's really remarkable about him is that he can report information about the time when we all thought he was in a vegetative state. He, he can remember things, he can tell us the people that he met, he can even give us information about the people that he met. Back at that time when we were scanning him and we were testing him and we, we thought he was vegetative. This is truly unique. I don't believe this has ever happened before. That was one of the amazing things when he woke up in the hospital the nurses were so happy and everybody ran to the room and started to show faces. And they were talking, do you know who I am? Do you know? And he started to name everybody. Like everybody was, oh my God. This is, like he was, he has been recording names and all of that of people. So I came home and my parents brought up the dogs and then they brought them outside to meet me in my wheelchair. You know, it was just like seeing the dogs that died long ago. It's pretty boring compared to what it used to be. Because I got to do things slower now. And I'm slowed down, like, tremendously. I like to make mix music or make music, produce music. And my, hob my hobbies are 
wheelchair rugby and wheelchair basketball. I can pretty much move my legs pretty well, except for this one. But the specificity is too great on this one, the left one. I've worked pretty hard. I walk in the parallel bars a couple times when my toe is not injured, and so I haven't been able to walk for a couple weeks. But once that toe heals, I'll get right back on that horse. I won't stop till I can't walk.